Now that we have created one ActionPad page, I would like to show you how easy it is to create several ActionPad pages and use them like a menu. First of all, I will copy the scroll text button by clicking onto it, then clicking onto the copy icon, and then clicking the paste icon. Of course, you can also use the usual Ctrl C and Ctrl V shortcuts. As I would like to change the pages with this button now, I'm going to the action tab and changing the action to go to page, action pad page, absolute, and number two, as I would like to go to page number two by clicking this button. Now I will export this page to copy it. I will give it a name. And then just import it again by clicking onto the open icon. Once we've opened it up, we have two pages now which are exactly the same. On the second page, I will change the background picture to make it more easy to distinguish between the two pages. So I will choose the black EQ icon here as a background. And as I would like to create a button on the second page, which will bring us back to page number one, we can leave all the parameters like go to page, action pad page and absolute, but we have to change the value to number one to get back to page number one. It also makes sense to change the caption of the button to make it more easy to understand. So this button will bring us back to page number one, so I will call it page number one. On the first page, I will change the text of the button to page two, because this will bring us to page number two. If you leave the edit mode now by clicking onto the helmet, you can click onto the two buttons and they will bring us forward and backward to page number one or page number two. As you can see, it's really easy to create great menus with the go to action pad action.